What's up, y'all? If you're new to my channel, I am that hook set and uh, fishing for a little something different today. Well, Mark isn't. Mark's fishing them carp again. Carp master, man. He's just, he's unstoppable right now. Today, we're going out for some gar. And this is what he's got for a setup. He's got the float, the swivel. What's that, 50 pound leader, right? Uh huh. 50 pound leader, single little like octopus slash J hook. Me, on the other hand, I'm going a little fancier. Just cause, just cause, you know, I went online and stuff, trying to get crazy with it. But I'm using 65 pound braid, using this big old float. It's weighted at the bottom. I got a swivel, straight to wire leader, and I'm using a treble hook. A little piece of carp on it. Now, in here, we expect to catch long nose gar. Uh, to my knowledge, that's all we have in Maryland. I don't know if we have spotted gar, but I know that's another very, uh, very widespread gar fish. Little fact about gar. Their egg sacs and their eggs, well, or maybe just the eggs, but anyway, they're toxic. So nothing really comes in here and eats on these fish. They're prehistoric. Hopefully we'll catch some three to four footers, make it worthwhile. All right, y'all, get them. I don't think that was a car, dude. I don't think it was. I don't care what it was. That was a fish and you missed it. <laughs> Playing around too worried about what Alex is texting you. <laughs> he's causing skunks and he's not even here, man. Come on. <laughs> it was like six inches under the water. <laughs> You just stared at it. Oh. Soon! Too soon! <laughs> this bobber went slammed down, y'all. That thing just went scoop and started rolling. Got him! Got him! Oh my God, Got him! Dude. Told you! Get the net! Get the net! Oh my god. Told you. See him take take flight? Oh he came off! Oh. He came off! Yo. Told you, son, that was three foot. That was like three and a half foot, dude. Alright, I'll give you that much. That, that was like three and a half feet. You see that? Yeah. Dog. Told you, son. Yeah. Told you. Still got my bait though. Alright, I say get him. Yeah, oh. but it's gonna be hard here. Move over here before you. Oh, Mark's got him. Mark's gone. got him. Oh. Oh. All right, y'all. Gonna switch up the eel. Mark's gotten about. Well, Mark should have three fish right now. This damn eel seems to be the ticket. So we're gonna switch up and get some eel out there. Good, man. Nah, he's out there. He's out there. He's still going. Get his ass. Get his ass. Oh, he was on. Watch out. Dude, he was actually on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! He was like a foot and a half. He was like this big. Yeah, he was like that big. Smaller hooks. That's what it is. Smaller hooks, dude. There we go. Oh, let it go. Yeah, try to catch these long nose guards. Thought about it. Are they in here right now? Yep, one just surfaced right there. I hooked them to a three footer earlier on that side. They're just hard to hook, man. I think that one might be a guard too. That thing is rolling. I see your YouTube show. Have you now? <laughs> Appreciate yeah, that. That's what I'm usually Thanks. fishing for, that's for sure. Those dang. Oh, look at that. They're coming in shallow now. Yeah, just trying to switch it up now. Oh. I caught one on um, Charlie Brewer crappy slider for up an electric break. Really? Just jigging, huh? Nah, they were getting ready to spawn. It was in Oswego River and Oswego Park. Oh, okay. Ontario. They take dead bait really good, too. Yeah, we're using a uh, cut eel right now. Where'd you get the eel? Uh, he caught one a while back. That was actually, that was way further up north. And then, uh, oh, yeah, thanks, man. Woohoo, that's it. Nice, nice, finally, finally, right in the mouth, too. Perfect hook set, dude. No way he, was getting off. he wasn't going anywhere with that. Beautiful. <laughs> that just might be my PB though. The nice. ones I got in Florida weren't that big. You One. serious? Less two. Got it? Yeah. 
I gotta land a three footer, bro. Gotta give me a four. There's too many of them jumping around right now. Yeah, look at the boils out there, dude. Where? Right there, and there was one right there, almost at the same time. Just had another takedown, yo. Bike's slowing down for sure. But they're still jumping everywhere. They're still coming to the surface. <sighs> it's crazy. Gar fishing is something else. All right, y'all. Pretty exciting day of carp. Uh, carp. <laughs> Psych. We're out here for gar. Pretty exciting day out here gar fishing. Uh, definitely some things I'm going to change for next time. I'm going to downsize my hook. I'm not upset with the bobber I'm using. It's big, but it's doing the trick. The bigger ones take it down. They don't even care. So we're just going to come out here a little more prepared next time and uh, hopefully slay these things and get myself, redeem myself after that three footer in the beginning, y'all. So. All right, y'all, get him. Woo! Look at this man catching the only fish again.